Right, so I've gone and purchased all my materials I'll need. So I've got the 1.5mm squared wire, I've got the conduits right there, some heat shrink tubing, zip ties, 6.3mm spade connectors, um, little ring connectors for the battery terminal, and one waterproof connector for the fuses, uh, two inline fuses. 240 amp full pin normally open relays and obviously some spare fuses so that I have all the materials I can start to build the circuit so that's what I'll do now start putting it together and um, I'll show you the finished finished product Okay, so this is the first part of the circuit complete. Um, got two battery terminal connectors onto the inline fuses, and from there, then onto the one half of the waterproof connector. So, what would be next then is the second half of the waterproof connector and the length of red wire that I'm going to use to take um, positive charge up to the headlight. So. I'll fit this part of the bike and then I'll start measuring the amount of wire that I'll need from this end of the bike up to the front. Right, so I've got the loom finished. Uh, from the battery side then we've got the positive connection here, now which goes off to the inline fuses which are attached to the battery now. Um, two negative connections right there. Then up at the front of the bike you've got your two relays. So I've got everything set up, um, nicely covered and connected. And the only thing I have to do now is put that on the bike. So that's what I'll do next and report back in a second. So I finally got the wiring loom in. Um, first part of it comes up from the battery here into the fuse box um, and then follows route underneath the tank. Following the original wiring harness, you can just see it sticking out there and then it comes out by the headstock again following the original wiring harness um, and down underneath the fairing and into the relays the relays live underneath the headlights um, found a nice mounting point on the fairing brackets right here so that's good and I did have this wiring loom out a few times, three or four times, I think, just to make sure that it was properly positioned, that it was as clean as possible. So, for example, the original loom that I designed had the two conduits, one for the positive and negative wires coming from the back of the bike. Um, in the end, to keep the headstock area clean, um, I decided to merge them. That's where this red tape is, so the two conduits merge into one. Obviously, you need to find some black tape, didn't have any, but it works for now. And that's it, really. It's all looking quite smart. And it's all working very well. So, the next thing I'm going to do is make sure everything turns on. And once I'm sure everything's turned on, then I can do a test, another voltage drop test. And also, I can do a comparison of the brightness, whether it's visible, um, the improvement of the brightness with the relay and without the relay. Okay, so moment of truth, will it all work? Ignition on, side lights, and headlights, low beam, and high beam. So everything's working absolutely fantastically. Already I can see they look much brighter to the naked eye. And obviously some measurement will have to be done to make sure that's correct. But yep, yeah, really happy with that. Everything seems to be working. Um, and everything's nice and neat, so result. Just have to put the bike back together again, then we'll be pretty much ready for spring, I'd say. Let's turn that off for now and start the testing. Okay, so I'm just going to do the voltage drop test again. Same procedure as last time. So I'm just probing the positive tank with the light bulb here. And I think that's a result, 0 0.1. 0 0.17 volts, so incredible result. 
and it looks like everything was worth it so perhaps I'll actually have some light next time I ride so fantastic stuff <laughs>